Hi everyone, welcome back to Crew Chats with Jen. Um, I'm your host, Jen. And as you can see, we're here with a very special guest for the very first time. Um, this is my very first interview episode. Um, and I have my friend and teammate, Kaylin, here with me. So Kaylin, do you wanna introduce yourself? Tell us your year, major, and where you're from. Sure, hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm a third year. I'm studying international business and minoring in psychology. And I'm from Orange County, California. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I feel like this is a big part. This is a big part of Crew Chat's history, you being the first yeah. interviewee. <laughs> so, so fun. Thank for, you for um, having me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so real quick. Yeah, me and Kaylin, we're, we're really close friends. And um, I think we should take a second to talk about how we first met because actually, we didn't first meet through rowing. We met through something else. Do you want to yeah. tell that story? <laughs> yeah. Um, you want me to tell it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're both in an organization on campus called Crew. Um, so our freshman year, we were at like one of the like um, social events where you like meet other freshmen. Um, and it was what? It was like September, like pretty early on in the year. Um, so yeah, so we, we were both at that event and we were just like talking I was just like talking to Jen because I was just like I don't know who Jen is so why not like meet her <laughs> um so yeah so I was just talking to Jen and she was just telling me about how she was going to try out for the rowing team and she had like the tryout the day after like the social event or something and I was just like no way I'm on the rowing team <laughs> so yeah so we just like bonded over that right off the bat um yeah it's been super nice to have someone that I'm close friends with in both crew and in rowing. Yeah, also just to clarify, so like crew, like when we say crew, we're not talking about like rowing crew, like C-R-E-W, it's like a different organization spelled C-R-U. So um, just to clarify, but yeah, when I, well, when I found out that she was on the rowing team, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like we were meant <laughs> to meet, so. Yeah, that was um, insane. I was just like, wow, of all the sports, of all the organizations, Yes, that was just, wow. I know, it was so funny. And I remember you were so nice about it too because I was so nervous to try out. And I was like, oh, like, oh my gosh, she knows so much about rowing and I literally know nothing. But you were so nice about it. And like, you were like, oh, you'll do great. Like, I just know like, you'll make it, so. Um, yeah, look where we are now. Look where we no. are now. All right, so um, today we're gonna be talking a little bit about how you got started in rowing. Um, what it's like on our team and kind of some personal insights that you've taken away from rowing. So I guess to get started, um, tell me a little bit about your journey to rowing and like how you got started. Okay, um, so I was, a so I was going into my sophomore year of high school and um, like for a year or two, like my uncle whose um, daughter, so my cousin, um, she was recruited to row at USC. Um, so she was rowing at USC at the time. And my uncle was like, oh my gosh, like to my mom, he was like, oh, you should have Kaylin try rowing. Um, like she just seems like a lot like my cousin and just like, she seems like she would be really well suited for the sport and just, um, just like her builds a lot like, um, his daughters. So yeah. So, um, my mom was like, yeah, Kaylin, like you should try rowing. Um, so that summer she had me, um, try like a rowing club camp. Um, it was a two week camp. Um, and basically at the camp, it was just like, yeah, just like try out rowing, um, learn to row. Um, it was just like the step-by-step, -step, um, of just like learning the stroke and just learning the sport. Um, so literally we would get into an eight and like row by like pairs like <laughs> that's what we would do for two hours every day is we would just get in the boat and row by pairs and um I just remember sitting in the boat when I was doing that and just being like wow this is so boring like why why is this <laughs> sport, like fun to anyone like who even oh would do this sport? <laughs> um so yeah so I just remember thinking rowing was super boring I was just like why why would anyone do this um but but at the same time I was just like you know like it was like a two-week camp so I was just like you know like that's two weeks like I like I don't know I was just like you know like maybe I'll just like stick it out and just like see if like maybe it grows on me um so yeah so then I basically tried out for um the club's 
like rowing team, their novice team, um, because everyone has to like go through their novice year. Um, so tried out for the novice team, made the team. Um, and so I decided to like do it, even though I wasn't like in love with the sport, I just decided, you know, like it's a team sport, like I could get recruited, like, we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah, so I joined the team. Um, yeah. And then <laughs> do you want me to like, talk about like when I like fell in love with it too and everything? No, let's, um, let's talk about that. Okay. Um, well, so I remember my first ERG workout, I did really poorly on it because I did <laughs> not completely understand the ERG. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, so then when the like rankings came out, cause like my coaches would release like rankings, like who was like one, two, three, four, five, you know, all the way to like, I think there were like 30 girls on the novice team. So yeah. I was like, I don't remember. I was like in like, like the twenties, I think. So I, I did not do good. And like, I didn't like that very much. I was like, oh no, this is not okay. <laughs> so, um, so then I like, um, like did better on all the other, like the erg workouts after that, I started to do better, started to improve because like I decided I wasn't going to let that happen again. Um, and then like, so I think like with the erg workouts, like I started to like, no one likes erging, but like, I think like, just like having that turnaround in my mind of like, oh, like I'm going to do better on this. And then like actually doing better. I think, um, like that's just like rowing in a nutshell right there is like, just like putting your mind to something and doing it. Um, and then, um, I remember that once we like a lot of the first like month was just like drilling and just like learning how to row actually like the first couple of months was just drilling and learning how to row. But I remember like once, like we picked up pace once we started like competing against other boats on our team. Um, once it started speeding up, like I like just started to fall in love with rowing just because I was like, wow, like it's just um, like, there's always like a challenge to like do. Um, there's always a challenge to tackle. Um, yeah, and it was just cool to like see myself be like, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this boat and then like see myself do it kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's how I fell in love with rowing. Wow. That's, that's super cool. I feel like, I mean, even though I've known you for a while, we've talked a lot about rowing. I feel like I actually, there's like a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Um, <laughs> what, okay. So you said that your mom like asked you to try rowing. So what was your initial reaction to her? Like wanting you to try rowing? I did not want to. <laughs> I was just like rowing. Like, what is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, Cause like, honestly, I don't, I don't think I even knew it was a competitive sport. I think yeah. I literally thought like, I was just like rowing, like kayaking, like, like people <laughs> do that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I did not know it was like an Olympic sport or like you could be recruited for it. It was a college sport. Like I did not know any of this stuff. I was just like rowing. Like that seems so boring. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That's it, funny. Yeah. It's funny how rowing, like <laughs> how people fall in love with rowing and they have no clue that it's coming. <laughs> Yeah, literally. Well, it's mm -hmm. funny because, um, like, I think for me, like, my mom encouraged me to try cross country, and I was like, uh, like, no, thank you. Like, that sounds yeah. horrible. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that at all. Like running. But then, um, but then I feel like I don't know. I guess cro both cross country and like rowing, they're both very much like they're sports that don't get a lot of visibility. Like, it's not, it's not very. Um, I don't know what you would call it. It's not like, you know, basketball or football where you get a lot of recognition, but there's mm -hmm. things about it that like really make you fall in love with the sport. So I think that's really interesting that like you really weren't into it at the beginning, Definitely. but like eventually fell yeah. in love with it. Yeah. Um, do you, can you like recall like a specific moment where you decided like, oh yeah, I really want to stick with growing or like, I know that I'm like in it for the long run. I don't remember the specific moment. I just remember once I started to get good at it um, and it started to pick up pace and I started to see like, oh, like rowing actually is fast paced. And like, there are some cool things to rowing that I was just like, oh, okay. Um, you know, cause it does help when you're good at the sport, Yeah, <laughs> but that definitely helps you like it. So um, yeah. So like I said, once I started like getting better on the erg and like um, seeing like I don't know, just the competition like side of it. I was just like, wow, this is a really cool sport that like, yeah. and I was just like, also, I was like, I think also I love the fact too, that like not a lot of people do it. And like, 
um it's just like something unique so mm -hmm. i don't know it's just a fun sport so okay let's talk a little bit about like your club experience um what was that like for you um hmm, it it was good um <laughs> honestly like I don't know. It was a good experience. Um, it was definitely a lot different than college. Um, like, I don't know, just there were a lot of negative things about my experience, um, like growing in high school. But um, but obviously, like, I wouldn't be where I am today without it. So like, obviously, a lot of positive came out of it, too. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was just a lot different from college. Yeah. Um, I guess, like, I know you said, like, there's definitely some really hard parts about, um, yeah, your club and just like that experience. Um, what, like, made you want to continue on, like, past high school? Um, yeah, I think just, like, my love for the sport, honestly, has been, like, my motivation this whole time. It's just, like, okay, like, honestly, like, at the end of the day, sure, like, I may not, um, like, like the environment may not be the best or whatever, but it's like, I still get to row at the end of the day. Um, and then also like in high school, the motivation of like being recruited was like a big part of it. I was like, okay, like I do have the potential to be recruited. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. And also, I don't know. I was just never someone who was like, oh, like I'm going to give up. I'm going to quit kind of a thing. So I don't mm -hmm. think I would have, I think I would have regretted it if like I had like quit or given up just because like, there were some negative things about it so yeah yeah um so when you were like looking for colleges and since you knew that you wanted to be recruited like what what were you looking for like in a college or like a team yeah so I wasn't 100% set on like rowing in college mm -hmm. um I more so wanted like a good academic school um, and then also I really wanted a school that was in California, um, just because like, I grew up super close with my family. Um, and so like, I wanted to be able to like go home <laughs> if I wanted to go home. Yeah. Um, also I knew I'd probably get homesick too. So I didn't want to be in like some other state, um, and like not be able to go home when I wanted to go home. Right. Um, yeah, but like there was always that chance that I could be recruited. I just wasn't sure like if I'd be recruited to like a California school, which like California, I, like I said, I wanted to go to a school in California. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I, I like didn't want an East coast school for sure because they erg all winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Which is like ironic. Cause like we're just erging a bunch now, but that is kind of our life now, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that, I just wanted a school in California, wasn't set on rowing. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so I guess as someone who like walked on, um, I'm always really curious to like what the recruiting process is like, cause I definitely never went through that. So mm -hmm. like just in general, not specifically UCSD, like what was your recruiting process like? Yeah. Um, so you can start talking to coaches your junior year of high school um my junior year of rowing was not the greatest <laughs> so I was talking to coaches but I did not have any like impressive <laughs> like I don't know I didn't have any impressive like scores to tell them or anything that was like oh yeah you should recruit me <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that didn't really come until my senior year but like I do know a lot of girls on my team like we're talking to um coaches their junior year um and then my senior year like the start of your senior year is usually when you start getting recruited. Um, and that's when like, I started to like actually get scores that like would make me like be like, I don't know, a good recruit, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I don't know. Just um, it's just interesting because a lot of people get recruited based on of like their 2K score. My 2K score was not good at the time because you do 2Ks in the spring. And like I said, I did not have a good junior year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, yeah, so 6K season in the fall, um, I just like, I don't know, started getting good at 6Ks. <laughs> and then I started like um, just reaching out to um, a bunch of schools. Um, and then a lot of them had their roster filled up already. Um, 
just because, like I said, you start getting recruited at the start of your senior year. Um, so like by the time senior year rolled around, they already probably had a pretty good idea of who they wanted to recruit. Um, so like I was a little late in that sense, but, um, but I ended up where I'm supposed to be. So <laughs> yeah. And then also with being recruited, I did go to UCSD's rowing camp in the summer going into my senior year. Um, mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, like, since I don't have the like erg scores to make me like a valuable recruit, why not just like show them how I row, you know? And then like, mm -hmm. um, that did work in my favor, I think. I think it's interesting that we do host camps. Um, it's, I feel like it's something that I don't hear like a ton of people like talk about all the time, but, um, but it's, it's really cool that it worked for you. Um, and like, yeah. Okay, moving on to like our more things about our team. So I guess, how would you describe our team? Um, I would say, I don't know, like, I love our team. I, th I think our team's like, um, just like very, like, um, it just feels like a family. Um, like, I don't know, I would say that, um, like, even though um, a lot of girls, um, I don't necessarily talk to all like, the girls on the team just because there's like 40 of us um and like um there's like whatever boat you're in you kind of just talk to the people in that boat um but like i would say like we all like even though i don't talk to everyone it's still like everyone's very friendly it's like if i ever needed any anything like i know i could go to any of them and like they would be there for me they'd like have my back um so yeah so i'd say in that sense it's very much like a family yeah and i'd say too like during covid i'd say our team has gotten a lot closer as well just because um like there are no boats like it's like we're all like erging doing the same workouts like every day like um yeah it's just like there's no boats to kind of like split us up um so i'd say i don't know what you think but <laughs> i've let i feel like i've gotten closer to people yeah definitely i was gonna say like um i definitely feel like the team dynamic has changed just because mm -hmm. of covid yeah like it's true i feel like i was a lot less in contact with people i wasn't in a boat with but now mm -hmm. it's kind of like i'll I can talk to anyone. Um, it just yeah. kind of depends like who I have practice with on any given day. But mm -hmm. um, I guess going off of that, like, how do you feel like, um, or maybe, you know, if at all, um, how do you feel like the team has changed over the past three years, kind of since you started? Obviously, things are very different now because mm -hmm. of COVID. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that honestly, though, like, as much as I don't like erging, like, honestly, like, I think it's been kind of like fun having like a different experience this year. It's cool because now we're a D1 school, Division One school. Um, so in that sense, like we've changed. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't say like, I've noticed like huge differences besides just like some of the seniors graduating. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, like, I feel like our whole team's gotten closer this year just because of everything with COVID um yeah I don't know yeah. but other than that I don't feel like I've noticed big changes okay um and what's something that you'd say like has surprised you about our team like over the past few years um it was definitely like very um like different for me coming to um UCSD and rowing and like being a college athlete was very different for me than high school um just in the sense that like it surprised me um, just how hard everyone works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that yep. sounds so bad because I feel like if you're a rower, you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like in high school, um, some of the girls on the team like were just there because their mom told them to be there. Like they didn't want to be there, you know, like they they had no passion for the sport. Um, so just like, I don't know, it just surprised me when I came to UCSD and it's like every single girl like works so hard um, and like, like, genuinely loves the sport so that just kind of surprised me <laughs> yeah that sounds so basic but yeah <laughs> no it's so true I think like I mean I think college athletics in general is just such a different environment like I remember I saw the same thing when I did track in high school like a lot of people were just there for their PE credit um, and then you know there was always a group of people who were really into it but um yeah, that's one of the things I love the most about our team is like knowing that like 
I mean, you wouldn't go to rowing practice every day. Like you wouldn't get up at five um, to go somewhere and like do a hard workout if you didn't really like it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think like that's a great point. Um, and that's something I really, I really love about our team. Mm. Um, okay, so now we're gonna just talk a little bit more about kind of some things that like you've kind of learned about yourself um, through rowing. But what's your, what's your least favorite thing about rowing? Oh, <laughs> oh, and then uh, and then we'll go to the positive. We'll we'll talk about your favorite <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, I have to think about this. Okay, <laughs> there's it's a, just a she just things. loves rowing so much. It's so hard to find. I know. I've just talked about how much I love rowing, and then I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd say waking up at like five that's yeah. not fun um yeah. yeah just I don't know that that's not but I don't know I would say either that or yeah erg. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which like you have to erg and like there's some great things about the erg there's some days where I'm like oh this is great I like mm -hmm. erging I had a great erg day or whatever but like erging just in general is very painful so it really is yeah okay so what is your favorite thing about rowing I think just like how empowered you feel um, when you do it, just um, just like I said, like there's always a challenge to tackle. Um, and so like, I don't know, just like going into workouts, it's like, oh my gosh, this workout's so long and like this workout's going to be so hard. Um, and like, I don't know, it's just um, like you always are like pushing yourself past your expectations of yourself. So then when you're able to achieve things you didn't even know you were capable of, it's like, it's empowering. Um, I don't know, it's definitely, well, this is going into like a little bit of like what I've learned about myself, but like, it's definitely um, like made me feel more confident. Um, it's definitely improved my confidence just because it has made me see like, wow, like I am capable of like anything I set my mind to. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. empowering. Um, and how do you feel like that's like impacted the way like you are just in regular life, like not rowing? Just in general, like I think um, I like seem very self-assured and just very confident. Um, and I'd say like rowing has a big part of that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you feel like um, like you noticed that also like in high school too? I think high school was definitely like when that like um, like that transformation started to happen. Like I definitely okay. think when I started rowing, I definitely started to like gain confidence, um, and definitely, um, yeah, just started to like, be like, wow, like, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but I'd say like in college to just the fact that like college is like, um, I'd say like the environment <laughs> of rowing is a lot better. So just yeah. like having that environment, but then also just like being at college, like having independence, um, and like, just like you're, you're able to like, just kind of fully like flourish and like realize who you're like, who you're supposed to be, or like, you're really starting to develop who you're supposed to be. Um, I think like, I've definitely seen it like kind of take off in college. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I guess like you talked about kind of the environment of rowing. Um, what would you say like makes an ideal environment for you? Um, in terms of like, I guess success in rowing, but also success like outside. Coaches are definitely a big part of that. Um, I would say um, having like supportive coaches that um, are like encouraging you um, and are like, um, that like do care about you. And um, I don't know, that are like investing in you and like, um, just building you up. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I would say that definitely is a huge part of it. Cause like, if your coaches are not building you up, then like rowing already is really hard. So then yeah. like <laughs> it would suck to have coaches that are just like sitting there, like not doing that. Um, yeah. So I would say that's a big part. Um, I would say just like, um, the people you're on the team with too, like that's always a big part of like any sport is just the people you're on the team with. Um, obviously you want it to be like an enjoyable experience and like you mm -hmm. want to have like, friends on the team and like you want to be able to like support each other and like feel like you belong, like you want yeah. like a sense of belonging. Um, yeah, 
I would say those are like the big ones. I think that's so true. I guess this is my personal beliefs, but um, the environment that the coach chooses to set up, well, I feel like can really make or break your experience. Like, I feel like if we didn't have a supportive environment on our team, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stuck around because it would just be like, it's just too hard. And it's like, I'm not really in it for like, just the competition and winning alone Um, so it wouldn't be worth it to me but the fact that we can be so supported by our teammates and coaches I feel like makes such a huge difference and like Mm -hmm. makes me actually want to like get up and go there every day so definitely yeah yeah Yeah, that's true like you don't even want to get up and go (laughs) if you don't have like this environment that's like uh supportive and yeah okay so was there ever a time that you wanted to like quit or like ever considered quitting rowing? Yes. Um, so <laughs> my junior year of high school, I already said was a little rough. Um, mm-hmm. That was a very rough year, just like academically and like with rowing, um, just because I put like a lot of pressure on myself um, just because um, I knew that that was a big year, like academically. Um, so like, Cause I didn't know yet. Like I said, if I was going to like get into college just based on academics or if I was going to like try to get recruited. So I knew it was a big year, like academically to like do well, but also like growing wise to like start like, um, getting good scores that would get noticed by coaches. Um, and then like when that didn't happen, um, I just was like, why am I here every day? Why am I even like putting myself through this? If, um, if like, I'm not getting anything from it. Um, so I definitely got very close to quitting my junior year of high school um, because of that, um, which is like crazy because I'm like, it's what, it's like four years later and here I am still yeah. doing this work. <laughs> I know you've been doing this for, did you say six or seven years now? This is my sixth year. Okay. Yeah. That's a really long time to stay in Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, what was like the thing that kind of got you to stay? Like I said, I was like, I don't want to be a quitter. (laughs) That was the only thing is I was just like, I don't want to like quit and Uh like live with that forever. Like that's literally what I like told myself. Uh (laughs) So, um, so yeah, I stayed with it and like, I'm glad I did because literally my senior year, things started to get better. (laughs) So, That's good. So yeah. you have like a really strong urge to like follow through. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, you're not the kind of person who would like give up halfway in the middle of a project uh, just in general. But um, but that's interesting that like, I don't know that you could like find that out about yourself um, because of rowing, <laughs> because it's yeah. really it's really a hard commitment. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So what are some things that you feel like you sacrifice for, for rowing? Ooh. <laughs> We've talked about this before. Oh my God. Yeah. My life motto is like, oh, the things I do for rowing. <laughs> yeah. Cause like our lives revolve around rowing. Yeah. So, um, sleep, mm-hmm. I- I'm just going to like start naming things off sleep, uh-huh. um, social life. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know what else I don't know I feel like those are big things Mm -hmm. um I feel like weekends and like breaks and stuff like that like just time time um yeah um I don't yeah I'd say those are the big ones but like um I just know that there's always been times where like people are like oh like let's hang out at like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like Uh oh yeah I have to go to bed at nine o'clock um yeah and that's such a huge part of the college experience is people just stay up late Mm -hmm. and go out and get ice cream at midnight and I don't know like whatever um and like a lot of times we have to make healthy healthy choices like very true sleep yeah. early yeah, eat um, stuff we want to eat yeah <laughs> yeah know. monitor hydration food yeah um and also okay another thing that I feel like you didn't mention but I feel like you probably miss a lot is um all the concerts that we miss because <laughs> of rowing I was thinking about that as you were talking I was like mm, sun god <laughs> yeah so for those of you who don't know, Sun God Festival is like a yearly festival that UCSD puts on. It's a music festival. Um, and they haven't had it the past couple of years because of COVID, but um, 
but I think like they get like really great people. Like I think they got Khalid. Um, who do they have? Like oh, they got Vince Staples. Kaylin's just like a big like music person. So I feel like that's like a huge sacrifice for her. Yeah, no, because our regional championship always falls on the same weekend yes. as um, as Sun God. Do you want to tell them the story about um, when we were in the hotel room? <laughs> oh my god! Tell them yeah. the story. Um, so I was really, really, really excited to see Haley Kyoko because at the time one of my favorite songs was by Haley Kyoko. <laughs> um and so she was coming our freshman year to sing at sun god and so i like expected like i'm gonna be able to go to sun god and then like i think like going into april like we found out oh our our championship is the same weekend as sun god you're not gonna be able to go so i was just like so bummed then we get to our hotel jen and i are sharing a room and jen's like trying to sleep and i'm literally just like looking through social media at people's like videos from sun god and like <laughs> and people's pictures from sun god and i literally start crying <laughs> oh, i literally yeah. started crying because i was like so upset <laughs> Oh my gosh. It was like, like it was like not funny, but also funny because, you know, I felt yeah, like it's funny be, now because I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be there too. Like yeah. it was, it was sad. And I remember you like, um, you like played music and you're like, we're going to have yeah, our own I little song. Yeah, I started listening to her song that I wanted to hear and then it just yeah. made me cry some more. Oh my gosh. But that also was, I feel like that was a very fun race. I, I don't know about you, but that was like my favorite race ever, like in the history yeah. of rowing. So that was the um, best race I've ever had. <laughs> yes. So I think like, can you say it's worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah. That's why like looking back, I'm like, okay, it's funny now that I was like crying about it, but like, yeah so worth it <laughs> yeah definitely so I guess like going back to the question of like things that you sacrifice what are some things that you feel like you've gained um you have a team a lot of people in college um like you know they they just have to like go find people um like everyone has to find like their friends at some point but I feel like especially being recruited like I came into college already having like this group of people that I knew were going to support me and be there for me mm -hmm. um so yeah, and that's like, like even now it's like, okay, like I, like during COVID, I have this group of people that I get to work out with every day and like um, that like we're just building each other up. And um, yeah, that's just cool. Cause I know um, not, not a lot of people get that right now, but um, going with that, there's like the whole bond of like the fact that we do do like these insane workouts together. Um, yeah. There's just something bonding about that, that like mm -hmm. not like, other people can't understand that just like the work we put in and like the things we sacrifice and just stuff like that but it's like your teammates can so I don't know that's yeah. just really bonding and then um I don't know good fitness um you yes, have something course. keeping you in shape um yes. yeah what do you feel like is like the biggest thing that you've learned about yourself from growing Ooh, I think um just that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. Mm -hmm. um, just because um, as we already talked about a little bit, like rowing puts you in like, um, like puts you in a like environment and in like situations where it's like you wouldn't encounter the like, the things it demands of you, like in yeah. any other situation, you know, like um, yeah. just like the determination and um, just like, um, the discipline and just stuff like that. Um, that's stuff that like, I wouldn't know I have within me or like, maybe I'd see glimpses of it, but like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know I have it to the extent that I have it if it weren't for rowing. Yeah. Um, I feel like, um, I feel like a lot of people like say that about rowing, you know, just people I've talked to, like, yeah, it just requires so much from us on a daily yeah. basis. Um, so the fact that we do that every day, it's a, I think it says a lot about us and like rowers in general. The fact that I've like rowed for six years too, it's like, um, like that, that does take like a lot of discipline. Um, yeah. So just, I guess I'm just a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Also, okay. I feel like, well, I need to preface this because people who don't know Kaylin, this wouldn't make sense, but, um, you just like never like get injured somehow. Um. <laughs> Like, I guess like the, you know, the whole time I've been at UCSD, like I've had various pains, like 
um, in my body, but I just feel like Kaylin is just like a machine. Like she'll just, <laughs> she just never like get, gets injured. She's never had to go to like our trainer to like get help. So like, what, what do you think is like your secret to not getting injured? <laughs> Good genes. I don't okay. know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know. I Do you have I, like a special like, I don't know, stretching regimen or like you just try not to be stressed? Like, no, that's the thing is like, <laughs> like I don't stretch that much. Oh my gosh. Oh my Colin gosh. would be so upset if he saw this, but I don't stretch that much. Well, um, maybe that's the secret. Maybe I shouldn't stretch. Just don't no. stretch. Anymore. They would tell me that's wrong. Uh, like, I don't know. Yeah, I honestly don't know what it is. Like, okay. like I was like, maybe flexibility has something to do with it, but yeah. I'm not even flexible, so. All right, so, okay, now we're gonna move on to just a little bit about yourself outside of growing because um, I know you have, we all have a life outside of growing, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it. What are some of your other interests outside of growing? Um, so I play guitar. Um, okay. I love music, so I play guitar. Um, I'm also a singer, so mm-hmm. that's that's actually a quarantine hobby that I've taken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, yes. And then um, I love photography. Um, I love to write um yeah um I really enjoy anything active like even if it's just like going outside and taking a walk yeah I'd say just like even like like just hanging out with friends and stuff that's like a big part of like what makes me happy so yeah Yeah, for sure and what are some other things that you're involved with on campus um so um Jen and I are part of crew which is a Christian organization on campus and then um is that it that might be it okay cool and rowing are like take up a lot of time so rowing takes up a lot so <laughs> it honestly like we've said this before but it's kind of like having a job because mm-hmm. it it's not it's not just um it's not just going to practice um it's also transportation mm-hmm. and like sleeping you know getting eight hours of sleep yeah. um proper nutrition hydration yeah, yeah like, as we said our life revolves around it so yeah. <laughs> so it's not just like honestly so we practice like 20 hours a week but it's like it's definitely more than that because mm. sometimes we'll spend like an hour just in transportation so it's yeah. a lot so when you graduate what do you think you'll be doing athletically Ooh. <laughs> um, I definitely want to continue to have an active lifestyle. Um, I like, that's another thing that rowing has kind of taught me is just like the value of having an active lifestyle um, and just like how to eat healthy and like how to take care of yourself and just the importance of that. Um, yeah, I think too, after like, I don't know, just feeling empowered through rowing and just like learning what my body's capable of. I think like, it's very important to me to like take care of my body now, Mm -hmm. um, like, and to eat right and to like be active. So I hope to like continue doing that after, um, college. Like I hope to, um, like hopefully I'll join a gym. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll probably like do like soul cycle or yoga or something. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, and then like, I don't know, like, we'll see. Um, I don't know. This is like, uh, this is just like far off in the distance. Like, this is just like, oh, like maybe I'll do this, but like, maybe I'll like run a marathon or something. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. Let's do it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just, just, I'd like to keep myself fit and just like active and just like also keep challenging myself. So yeah. Yeah. I think we should sign up for a half marathon in 2023. Yeah, that's a good first step is to do a half marathon before. So let's, we should like get it on the books so it like happens. Yeah, (laughs) I agree. That would be good. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of the last segment that we're going to do for this episode. So this is what I'm going to call the Crew Chats Countdown. Um, It'll be some 10 rapid fire questions. So we're like counting down like number 10 and then we'll go all the way to one. And um, do you like my explanation of it? (laughs) I 
like um, your different too. Like this is so fancy. <laughs> oh, thanks. I came up with it last night. Okay, number ten. Favorite rowing memory. Mm, Weira. That yeah. that was yeah amazing. Yeah. The best. Do you want to wait? Do you want to talk a little bit about the race? Sure. Um, okay, so Jen and I were in the same boat. Actually, you were you were stroke seat, and I was seventh. No, was wait no, I was five seat for that race. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the year, but five seat for that race. Um, yes. Yeah, and so that was like our um, championship. And then, um, so like we kind of went into the final, like as like the underdogs. Um, and I remember like, we were like looking at like UCI's time and like, was it Humboldt? Yes, I think Humboldt yeah. was and like the best. And then also back States um, yeah. and like their times for in the heat. And we were just like, there's like, like we gotta like, we gotta cut a bunch of like time off. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but we ended up going into that race and honestly, like, it was just so cool. Like, you know, it just like felt like we truly, all of us were putting everything we had into that race. Cause we so badly wanted to like get a medal. Like I knew I was like, I'm walking out of here with a medal. Yes. <laughs> um, so that was just so cool. Like it just felt so fluid. I don't, we had worked for that all season yeah. and then like, you just felt it come together. And that was just like amazing. Um, I don't think I've ever had that like in a race yeah. <laughs> or in a boat even like where it's just like you like just feel so in sync um I don't know yeah and so um and then we ended up getting second like yes. and we were like neck and neck with UCI and it was like either we were gonna get second or third and mm -hmm. I just remember crossing the finish line and I just started crying <laughs> oh my god I, I sound so emotional in this podcast <laughs> Where it was an emotional weekend for me. Yeah, it was. But I just started crying because I was just like, wow, like, like, I was like, I did not expect us to get even third. So I was just like, yeah. wow. And then like, I just was so proud of us too. And I just was overwhelmed just with emotion. Yeah. And then I just remember Holly was sitting in front of me and she turned around and hugged me. And I was just like, oh it was gosh. just, it was such a good moment. This is making me miss the water so much. I know. I want to be there. I know. I, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to race. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, number nine, favorite seat to row? Bow seat. Wow, okay. Is there a reason why? Um, I think maybe because I've rode there the most. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I've rode there the most. And then also, I don't know, you can really feel like um, just like the boat move back there. Like, um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a very different feeling from Stern. Yeah, um, where you're feeling like the rush and like everything that like go up to you. The yeah. bow, you're like, you're the one causing the rush. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, number eight. Um, a misconception about rowing that you'd like to debunk. Ooh. <laughs> um, it is not an arm sport. <laughs> yes. It's legs. <laughs> Everyone always says that. They're like, wow, your arms must be so strong. And I'm uh -huh. just like, yes, but no. <laughs> yeah. It's legs. Yeah, it is. Um, number seven, what do you like to eat before practice? Are we talking about like water or like ergin? Um, I guess either. Is it different? Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so Ergin, I eat like an RX bar or like half of an RX bar, okay. um, just because like, I can't eat something too heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, and then for the water, I eat like a piece of toast with peanut butter on it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, number six, pre-race or Erg test pump up song. I really like the song Say Less by Dylan Francis. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if people hear it, they're gonna be like, what is this trash? <laughs> I like it so much. Well, okay, so you're like a big like EDM family. Like, exactly. You really like that for like working out, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay, number five, favorite post-practice snack from the nutrition table. <laughs> All right, so I love the Chobani smoothies um those are great and then I also love trail mix <laughs> yeah but it's like a specific trail mix yeah it's like it's like cars trail mix or something I'm just a big yeah. trail mix person in general but then like the trail mix they give us is like unique and so I like it yeah okay uh number four 6k or 2k mm. it's hard they're so 
both of them are horrible in their own way. (laughs) Uh Um, hmm, Probably 6K. I feel like I'm more of a long distance person. Uh Um, Like, I feel like I've definitely, I mean, this isn't the case for every 6K I do, but like, I feel like I've definitely figured out like how to pace myself and like the strategy going in and like the mindset and like all that where 2Ks, I'm kind of still like figuring them out. And Mm -hmm. also I think 2Ks are just a lot more painful. So (laughs) seriously. Okay. Number three, fours or eights? Eights. Okay. Um, Number two, what would you say to someone interested in trying rowing? I would say um, that they should do it because they might surprise themselves. (laughs) Okay. Um, And number one, um, what's one thing you recommend this week? And it can be literally anything. It doesn't have to be rowing related. That I recommend this week? Yeah. What should the people do or see? Or buy? I don't know. Huh. My first thought was The Bachelor, and then I was like, no, "Oh my gosh, don't wish that upon anyone." Oh my that's gosh, Wait, um, that's so funny. That's hard. Yeah, but okay, I'm gonna give one. So maybe while I give mine, you can keep thinking about yours. Okay. Um. So lately, I've been making collages, um, and just like kind of cutting out different like pictures. Well, I've been doing it from the New York Times. Um, their Sunday edition so I just kind of like cut out pictures and like make a little cool collage and it's like fun it's just kind of like self-care for myself and like just a project that like no one's gonna see and like no one literally cares about so um, I would recommend making a collage for fun yeah love that I'm just like thinking through like tv shows just because Mm -hmm. I've been binge watching a lot of tv shows lately yeah yeah, what's a favorite TV show right now that you want to well, recommend? Currently, I am watching Jane the Virgin. Okay. Um, I've already watched like most of that though, but uh-huh. um, I do this thing where I like don't finish shows. Okay. <laughs> I'll, like watch until it gets to like the part I want to watch. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, like now I'm not gonna watch it anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I've really been liking strawberry smoothies lately. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's so, so fun. Some oat milk. Mm, love oat milk and then what's your oh (laughs) sorry yeah I was gonna say what's your recipe yeah I do chia seeds oat milk um strawberry frozen strawberries and then some vanilla yogurt okay good I've been loving that that's a great post practice um like snack yeah it is um just because smoothies are really refreshing after practice so yeah they are I guess I'll say a strawberry smoothie (laughs) great I, you know what, I'll have to try that this week. Um, actually, I don't have a blender, so maybe I'll buy oh, one. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for being um, on the podcast today. I really appreciate you being my first guest ever. Um, yeah. Is there anything that you want to plug or tell the people about? Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to be starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> um, so... I think, okay, I think it's going to be called Kaylin Vlogs. So, wow. so I, that's a plug for my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for you to start your own channel too. Thank you. We'll have, we'll have all kinds of different perspectives from our yes, team. Yes, and we can collab. We can do collabs. Yes, exactly. We can have a collab. So, well, this yes. is the first of our many collabs. I know, I was just thinking that. I was like, this is the first of many yeah, collabs. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, anyways, um, thank you to everyone who watched or listened to this podcast today. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can also listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else that podcasts are found. Um, And if you have any questions or comments, um, you can always feel free to DM me on Instagram. My handle is at hey.jen. Or I guess you could, uh, you could DM Kaylin too. (laughs) Now she's a, she's a friend of the pod. So anyways, yeah, thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.